In this video, we're going to show you how to make homemade wood preserver. You'll need oil, vinegar, red beet powder, optional, and a paintbrush. Let's get started. First, you need oil. It can be canola oil, vegetable oil, or whatever you have at home. Next, you're going to need some vinegar. We used apple cider, but you can also use white vinegar or red wine vinegar. You want to have something to put it in so you can mix it up in a measuring cup. The ratio is a 1 to 3 ratio oil to vinegar. Hey everyone, we're back with Black Country Living and we're gonna try some of this stain that, we, not stain, I keep saying stain. Some this protective coating. <laughs> we're gonna try it on some of this wood. It's pretty crappy outside, it's raining and snowing and everything mixed together, so. We're not gonna get too much work done outside, but there's always work to be done other areas. It looks pretty. <laughs> Yeah, and what it said you should use between two and eight coats, right? Yeah, depending on your desired effect. Yeah, so we're gonna go with what one today? I'm gonna slap a thick one, wait ten minutes, and do one more. So. You can kind of see from that angle, it's nice and shiny. It's kind of going on like a thick root. Which I think that's the consistency of polyurethane, right? Yeah. Like applesauce consistency or thinner than that? A thin applesauce. Look. Okay. It's a stick. It's like a gravy. Yeah. I say it takes a while to absorb into the wood, but once it does, yeah. it does its thing. Some people say don't use best world, but the old timers said it doesn't really matter. If it's outdoor, this is going to be outdoor. Right. Indoor wood, we're better than olive oil. But uh, it definitely brought out some life. In the wood, man. Let's try this one. I'm hoping with this red hue that it really makes that pop. It looks nice. And this effects. So far. Something funny is happening with my camera right now. Hopefully, the video is okay. All right, we'll come back in, I don't know, 10 minutes and see what it looks like. guys we're back so we went back and got a whole bunch more wood um, for, for free <laughs> anyway that's not the point so we did a different type of polyurethane I can't call it polyurethane because that's not what it is wood preservant and um, it's this is what it looks like this time he used red wine vinegar olive oil and a little tiny bit of red beet powder so we want to see if it's going to give it more of a red tint. So we'll see. Well, we'll see. Let's watch the power, see? 